Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. If you guys didn't know, the next major update for War Thunder is coming out very, very soon. And today we have one of the most highly anticipated aircraft probably in the history of War Thunder being officially announced, although it was in the trailer. That's right, we have the F-117A Nighthawk, which brings with it stealth technology. The first stealth aircraft in War Thunder's history is finally here and it will be a rank six squadron vehicle in the U.S. Air Tech Tree. That's right, a squadron vehicle, not premium, not an event vehicle. This is a squadron vehicle, so everyone can get it, and if you want, you can even get it early via Golden Eagles. Now, with that being said, this vehicle will likely be 10.0 or so BR. I actually just saw on the dev server live stream, officially from War Thunder, that it looks like it will be 10.0 BR. However, those things can change up to and beyond the release of the next major update, so we'll have to wait and see. But 10.0 doesn't seem all too bad, especially considering that a lot of vehicles at that BR rely a bit more on guns which would be easier to take this thing down with especially considering that this vehicle has no countermeasures has no guns at all and is subsonic so this thing is going to be a sitting duck especially versus subsonic aircraft i mean heck with faster prop planes you could probably shoot this thing down pretty damn easily but this thing was designed to fight against modern things and not so much against gunfighter so who knows exactly how this thing is going to perform in war thunder i am not entirely sure now it will only have two weapons bays although you will have of course guided weapons in those weapons bays which will be pretty damn effective for CAS when it comes to air battles this thing will be pretty much a non-starter it seems like this will be more or less just a CAS aircraft only so again you're going to be seeing this a lot when it comes to ground rb otherwise again this is stealth and it will have stealth aircraft capabilities in war thunder it's not just in name only and the functionality will not be limited at all this will be a fully functional stealth aircraft with a much smaller ir signature and radar signature compared to regular aircraft of that same size so it will be very very interesting to see how this thing performs in ground battles this thing might be incredible in ground battles or it could be really really bad and the thing is again it can still be shot down by guns extremely easily so we'll have to wait and see now this will have access to bombs such as the gbu-12 gbu-16 gbu-10 gbu-27 and new satellite bombs like the gbu 31 and gbu 38 and heck this can even carry conventional bombs i really don't know why you would especially again being that this only has two bomb slots basically within the aircraft itself so i'm not entirely sure why you'd want to carry those conventional bombs but if you do it does still have access to a ballistics computer which should make them still pretty damn accurate and being that those are of course internal bomb bays so that they could aid with stealth i'm wondering if that means that when you open up the bomb bay itself if that will impact your stealth capabilities as it would in real life i'm not entirely sure if that's the case i'm sure it probably won't be but who knows maybe kaijin really made this an extremely advanced model so that being said let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below again this will be an extremely limited aircraft i mean you cannot look at this thing and just say to yourself like oh i'm gonna dominate air to air you have no air to air weapons with this aircraft this is going to be an air to ground vehicle and that's it and you're only going to get a very limited suite of air to ground vehicles so we're gonna have to wait and see and again i mean this thing's gonna have like a 40 meter per second rate of climb if that so it's not going to be fast at all very limited really the major thing with this is that it's going to have accurate weapons and it's going to have a substantially reduced radar and thermal signature so it can be extremely effective it's going to have to be extremely precise but this thing is not going to be some sort of insane vehicle in any one way outside of the fact that it's stealth but i feel like this is going to be a very very fun aircraft so i said thanks for watching and i'll see you all on the other side take care everyone